Hi guys, this is Sliver here, and in this video, we're going to talk about the ways you can get resplendent sparks in season 5 of Diablo 4. Resplendent sparks are, of course, important because you can use four of them to craft a mythic unique item of your choice. So, essentially, if you manage to obtain four resplendent sparks, you'll be able to choose and craft any mythic unique item. This makes these sparks very sought after. Now let's move on to how you can get them in the current season. In general, there are two non-repeatable and two repeatable sources of resplendent sparks. Non-repeatable sources can only be used to get one spark during the whole season. This means that you can only get them once on hardcore and once on softcore no matter how many characters you play with. Let's go through these non-repeatable sources. Number 1. You get a resplendent spark for defeating your first tormented boss. It doesn't matter which tormented boss you defeat, you get a spark for killing the first one. Generally, I recommend killing Tormented Zir or Tormented Grigor first, because these are considered to be the easiest. If you need help on how to summon these bosses, I've got a comprehensive guide on how to summon any boss in Diablo 4, I'll link that in the description. Number 2. The second non-repeatable source of sparks is Uber Lilith. You get a spark for killing Uber Lilith the very first time, both on softcore and hardcore. This can be quite difficult, depending on your build, and how well you know the encounter. And now we're going to talk about the two repeatable sources of resplendent sparks. These methods can be used to farm an infinite amount of sparks, but in return they can be quite time-consuming or RNG-based. Number one involves completing the new seasonal Mother's Gift Reputation Board. At the very end of the Reputation Board, you'll be able to claim a resplendent spark. This way of getting a spark requires a bit of grinding, but it is repeatable with different characters. So if you desperately want a resplendent spark, you can create a new character, max out your reputation, claim the spark, and repeat. You can do this as many times as you wish. Generally speaking, reputation comes from basically any elite champion or boss enemy, currently it looks like the new Infernal Hordes mode are the way to go to farm this reputation. If you are interested in the most optimal way of farming reputation, you can watch my rep reputation guide for this season, I'm going to link that in the description. And lastly, the second repeatable way of getting a resplendent spark is farming mythic unique items and salvaging them. You're going to get one resplendent spark for salvaging each mythic unique item. Obtaining a mythic unique of course involves a bit of RNG, but thanks to the relatively high chance of tormented bosses dropping mythic uniques, it's not so bad. Last season I estimated the drop rate of mythic uniques to be around 10% from each tormented boss kill. I recommend farming tormented Lord Zir or Tormented Duria for getting mythic uniques, however, if you have summoning materials for any other Tormented boss, you can go ahead and farm those too. And that's it. How are you going to get your resplendent sparks? Do you perhaps have a secret method that I didn't mention here? Let me know in the comments, and see you guys next time.